I am not sure whether these are the exact figures, but this type of question was asked in the 2017 CGL Tier 2 exam. We need to find out which of these options, when added with these four numbers, will make it in continued proportion. The difference of these two numbers will be 9 and 135 plus 9 will give us a multiple of 9, so this would be the answer. I have written down the numbers in the question. You don't actually have to write this down while solving it, but I have done it now for the sake of explanation. And notice the way I have written these numbers down. In our question, 103 was at the beginning and 144 was at the end. So I have placed them here at the diagonal ends. Now this is what we are going to do. We will write down the difference of these two numbers here, which would be 32. And the difference of these two numbers will be 34. Now if we take the ratio, this would reduce to 16 is to 17. Now we are looking for a number that when added with these four numbers is going to make them in continued proportion. Now this is the thing, that number when added with 103 should make it a multiple of 16 and the same goes with 135 also. Similarly, that number when added with 110 should make it a multiple of 17 and the same goes with the 144 also. Now if we check with each of these options, we can see that only 9 which when added with 103 is going to make it a multiple of 16. So this would be 112. Now we can write down the other numbers also if you want. This would be 100, 144. And this would be 119 and this would be 153 and we can see that these two numbers are multiple of 16 and these two numbers are multiple of 17 so 9 will be the answer here now instead of taking the difference of these two numbers we could have also taken the difference of these two numbers as well and i'm going to show you that one also so the difference of these two numbers will be 7 and the difference of these two numbers will be 9. Now if we take the ratio of these two numbers, it would be 7 is to 9. There is nothing in common between them. Now what do I have to do? Which of these four options when added with 103 or 110 will make it a multiple of 7? Or if it is added with 135 or 144 will make it a multiple of 9? So we can check it in four of these ways. And I will go with the easy one and the easy number will be this one. Why? It's always easy to check if a number is a multiple of 9. The sum of digits of that number will be a multiple of 9. Well 135 is already a multiple of 9. If you take the sum of the digits you will know it. Now if it is already a multiple of 9 and we want a number which when added to it will make it again a multiple of 9. Which of these could it possibly be? It's 9 right? You can check it. 135 plus 9 will be 144 so this would be the answer here and we can check it with the other numbers also the way we did 144 plus 9 will be 153 and this would be 119 and this would be 112 now these two are multiple of 7 and these two are multiples of 9 now I hope you have understood and if you have any doubts you can ask them in the comment section. Okay, thank you.